Hi, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office. I am also a certified Flex MLS Title Rep Trainer, and I am going to show you how to set up your portals. Now, um, before we get started, you should have a saved search. Um, and then the next step is to go to Contacts and Contact Management. You are going to add a uh, contact here so let's just call it test December and with an email of test at 123.com and we're going to click add their name will be highlighted and their information will come up here at the bottom now the first step is to actually go to searches auto email you need to actually attach the search before you can set up a portal for this client so you'll want to click add and find the search. You can also at this point, if you do not have a search yet, you can create a new quick search or new full search here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and select one from our list and click attach search. And then if all we want to do is set up a portal, then we go to the portal tab. Um, we have a username. It's just the default first name, last name with no space. Um, it doesn't matter what you make the, um, you know, what, what you make for their name. You just have to do the same one. I would suggest doing the same for every single client. So if it's first name, um, space, last name, just make that your routine. And then your password doesn't need to be anything tricky. Um, I like to use one, two, three, four, because um, that's easy for you and your client to remember and then you're going to click create account okay so it automatically is going to turn the client portal on um, and it gives you your portal listing cart it, they can select their favorites possibilities and rejects and those will show up here as a number um, and uh, recommended and removed are for you um, next you see last login activity um, if uh, if they have logged in it'll show here and then you can check send me a message when my client logs into the portal um, you may want to do that when they're new so your next step um, is to go ahead and email the portal link it has their email in there your carbon copied you can make the subject uh, you know whatever you'd like um, this is the one that I have set up um, as my template, but you can choose whatever you'd like and then choose from your templates here. Um, this email will only go to them uh, whenever you send it. So um, you would assume that it's only going to go one time. Um, so give them a little bit of information about the portal. And then at the bottom here you say you see include context username. Um, so that will be included in the email um, and go ahead and click send. The client now has an email with their portal link in it and if you want to see what their portal looks like you can just go to view portal. This is what your client sees um, when they go to their portal. It'll have your uh, information on the bar over here um, and then the provided search where they can click and see the results of that search. So when setting up a portal you do not need to send the client the results. Um, you are giving them a link to log in at any time and see the current matching results to the search criteria that you set up for them. Um, as I mentioned before, the favorites, possibilities, and rejects, this is how they select those. Um, but it looks very similar to what you see when you um, are log into your Flex MLS. They will not be able to see any listing, listing agent information. All right, again, I'm Sarah Moran with Equity Title Biltmore Office. I have wonderful marketing materials that I can help you with, as well as three excellent escrow officers. I hope that you will work with us on your next transaction.